In this instructional video we'll be looking at equilibrium temperature. So the example we have here is a cube of aluminium of mass 600 grams and temperature of 60 degrees Celsius is placed in 1.2 kilograms of water at 20 degrees Celsius and we're asked to find or calculate the final equilibrium temperature of the system. First of all let's record the data we have or the values for aluminium, the hotter of the objects has a mass of 600 grams, so we enter that in as 0 0.6 for kilogram. All masses are entered in as kilograms. It has a specific heat capacity of 897 joules per kilogram per kelvin, and that's from our notes. And it has an initial temperature of 60 degrees Celsius, and we're trying to find the final temperature. Next we look at the cool object, the water in the beaker. It has a mass of 1.2 kilograms. Its specific heat capacity is known from our notes at 4,200 joules per kilogram per kelvin. It starts at a rather comparatively cool temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. And again, we're trying to find the final equilibrium temperature of this system. Note that after some time, both the aluminium and the water will reach a common final temperature. T subscript F for final. So the heat lost by the al hot aluminium will be equal to the heat gained by the cold water. The water can't warm up unless the aluminium is giving heat away. So we can use the MC delta T for both the energy lost by the aluminium and the heat gained by the water. I've coloured them red for the hot aluminium and blue for the cold water. So we substitute our values in. The mass of 0 0.6 for kilogram for aluminium is entered in. The specific heat capacity of 897 joules per kilogram per kelvin is entered in. And the change in temperature is put in. Note that we start with the higher of the temperatures, which was 60 degrees for the aluminium, and it will drop down to a cooler temperature, T, the final equilibrium temperature. On the other side of the equation, we have a mass of 1.2 kilograms for the water, specific heat capacity of 4,200, and again a change in temperature. In this scenario the water is warming up so we put T, the unknown T, as the first of the two temperatures and subtract from it the 20. In both materials our delta T or change in temperature is the hot temperature minus the cold temperature. We simplify this 0 0.6 at 897 comes out to 538.2 and 1.2 lots of 4,200 comes down to 5,040. Next we expand our brackets. So 538.2 multiplied by 60 gives us 322,000, uh, sorry, 32,292 and 538.2 lots of T. And then the same on the right hand side, we expand our brackets. 5,040T, take away 100,800. Next we group our like terms, we bring our t's across, so I've added 538.2t to both sides to bring it over to the right, and I've added 1800 on both sides to bring that across to our left. Now we've got our numbers on the left hand side of our equal symbol, and our t terms on the right hand side, which we can simplify further. All we need to do now is divide both sides by 5578.2 to work out what we have for our value T. And finally our answer T, the common equilibrium temperature when we add the aluminium and the water together for this particular mass and initial starting temperatures is a temperature of 23.9 degrees Celsius.